Hello and welcome back to the Bone of Isaac Repentant. Today we are back at the start of the characters. So we're playing as Isaac, Curse of the Labyrinth. Not a great start. No, my charges. I need those. So I'm going to try not to get hit. So I keep my dev room chance. Hopefully I'll start finding some room soon so I get to um, use my D6 rolls. No! I saw you and I couldn't get away. So... Unfortunately not going to have that dev room chances guaranteed as it could be. Mom's pad causing mass fear in a room so all enemies would have to be affected by fear for a short amount of time. Don't really want to use I um Dark Bomb, not a bad pickup. Do want that full health first. So Dark Bomb will pick up Um the red hearts that are dropped in the in the room. Once it gets a heart and a half it will start to drop um, black hearts, spider buddies, spider enemies, or pills. I think that's everything. Maybe some tarot cards as well. We're going this one. Pick you up, not use you, because um, data miner will change your stats when used, and these stat changes are permanent. So it could be good. Could give me some good stuff, but. I'm gonna die. But it tends to not be great for me. <laughs> okay. I'm playing the wall, so that's gonna be my excuse. Hopefully, this time we'll have a bit more luck. I'm gonna be trapped. At least this is an XL floor, so I haven't lost my dev room chance just yet. We got hmm leech. I like the leech actually. Leech is familiar that if I get close enough to an enemy, it will run towards them and do damage. And if it um, beats an enemy, it can give me a half heart um, back. So if I have a lot of red hearts or anything like that, it can keep me alive for a while. Small floor. Leech, if you want to do some work. Don't make me regret getting you. better. Why can't I hang a tears up? Very nice. Okay. Could look for some secret rooms. Actually, I didn't remember that I had so many bombs, but that's fine. All these red hearts, it would be nice to still have Dark Bomb. Oh. 
the scoop. When you use it, you get the plop effect. Is it plop? Peeper. Peeper effect. Um, so you get an eye that falls around the room and gets a creep. I don't think that actually happens with the original peeper item. Dunce cap, I'm not taking that. It's just a bad item in my opinion. It would make me shoot two tears at once, which is fine, but... Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. that have enemies in them to give me more um, item room charges. Oh, a lucky penny. Take that. And we got chewed penny. So this is a trinket that gives me a chance to shoot a ink shot, which will give me a slow effect. At least I'm going to get one more charge. get the leech to carry on attacking the boss and I just concentrate on the head so not, not a lot of enemies spawn. Stapler, definitely want that. Gonna skip the devil room so I've got a guaranteed angel room for my next room. Stapler is a damage up but it staples one eye shut so you have the sort of same effect as Kane so you only shoot from one eye which actually kind of makes it a little bit nice because your tears are exactly where you want them to go. And we'll see what we get from in here. We got the bean. So the bean is a one room use item and when you use it it does the kind of bar effect which pushes enemies away and I think it poisons them. I'll go in here as well. Got to start going into curse rooms and things a little bit more, I think. Um, maybe the secret room could be there? No, top secret room here. No, okay. Don't have enough bombs, I can really try another one. Slow effect betrayed me. It's not the worst thing that I've lowered my angel room chance because it was pretty low to begin with. So I wouldn't really expect um, it to definitely happen. Technique. 
Don't think this is a run for it. But we'll see. That'll be my probably item, I think, for now. Need more enemies. Buttons are not worth it. Skelly bones. Worst enemies. Really, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go to the shop and see if there's a soul heart or anything in there. I'm actually really glad I got the leech straight away because if I didn't I would be dead already. Fight the boss now. Damn it. Okay. Uh, super bandage is nice. So it's a health up. Gives me an extra red heart and two soul hearts. Guess I'll re-roll with Vico Technique. Yeah, I'll take Maggie's bow. That's another health up. And when I get hit... I think it's a chance. Uh, do I want to? No, I kind of want to carry on. If I get a hit, I have a chance to get a shield, which will give me some invulnerability. It's nice I got soul heart, so I should have a bit more of a chance for the angel room now. Actually, I do want to check. Have I done? I have done boss rush. Okay. So I've got a bit more time. There's the seed for this run, by the way. Almost enough money to make the shop worth it. Hope I don't have to come through this room again, it's very time consuming. Oh, 
pulse tap. Pretty nice. So I am now immune to explosions and I think I have a chance to um, be protected from any kind of tears as well. Oh, I want to um, chew pen more. See if you drop any money. You didn't. I like all the bombs, but I would, I would actually like more money. I have something I would like to buy. Top secret room could be here. No. Here. No. Well. Bumby, you know, not a nice guy, not someone I would really like to be facing right now. One hit wasn't too bad. Synth oil, very nice damage and range up. Unfortunately, didn't get the angel room with a 72% chance. Uh, I want more money. I'm going to go back. What time have I got? Right. I've got time. Probably wouldn't be good to take. Probably a good idea to take petrified poop in case there's poop in rooms. range to get away from those. Didn't think they shot that far. Left what are you? Party. Own party? Okay. Do I want to give it my soul heart? I'll check it. Well, that's unfortunate, but get me enough money for the item in the shop. Probably see if it's a secret room. Could give me a bit more money. Oops. Not enough for both the item and soul heart, unfortunately. But I'm taking Mom's Purse. So Mom's Purse gives you more trinket space, so you can hold two trinkets. So I can keep the chew pen and take the petro poop with me. So if there's poops, I will have more chance of things being in them, like money, hearts, even soul hearts. I think for the time being, there's still quite enough floors that've got poops on to make that worth it. Yeah, I'm going to get the angel room this floor now. Could blow one of you up for the slight increase. Hey, head of keeper. So head of the keeper, I shoot um, money tears, um, and when I hit an enemy, I think it's just when I hit, I don't think it's like I have to beat them or anything, uh, it has a chance 
to drop money. So hopefully I shouldn't have to worry with shops for the rest of this run. Sure. Membership card opens up a little crawl space in all the shops. And you can buy some items in here that you wouldn't normally have a chance of getting in other shops. I'll see how much money I get before this. Let's come back to it. So there's not some some pretty okay items in there. I don't know if this trink um, this item ahead of the keeper is affected by luck. Not sure about that. So maybe if I have more luck, maybe I have more chance of dropping money on every shot. Balls of steel. Okay, that was the orange pill, so I've got to remember that. Because I would like more of those if it wants to give me them. Getting as much money as I would have hoped from this item. Uh, I'll go to the boss first. Yeah, we'll do the boss first. So I can get a chance to re roll. Bombs aren't going over. So if I dropped it in, shot it soon enough, I could get it over the gap. Lost all my soul hearts, unfortunately. So I don't think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be keeping my angel room chance. Especially when he throws the rocks like that and all these spiders. Oh, we might actually have a good chance with this. And we got the angel room, very nice. Uh, check the angel room first. Take the halo. Halo, what happened to my bomb? Oh, I've got no more bombs. Damn it. Halo is an all stat up, so I got health up and everything else went up. Pretty good. Uh, we'll take Constellation Prize, and it was tears up, that's exactly what I wanted. So Constellation Prize gives you a um, increase in your lowest stat, and drops the lowest pickup that you have. In that case, it was a bomb. Unfortunately, I should have done that before going in that angel room, so I would have had the bomb to fight an angel so I'm going to the room yet so I can't leave just yet oh, I would like to pick up the pace a little bit more Yum heart, use that, it would give me a full red heart if I had lost any. Rotten Tomato, I actually really like Rotten Tomato. So those red tears that I'm shooting, if that hits an enemy, it causes um, the other enemies in the room to fight against them. So you can get your enemies to fight each other. I think that also does apply to bosses as well. I think if, if there's 
enemies in the room and a boss gets it or if there's enemies in the room and a boss is in there they will have the chance to fight each other I'm going to try not to prioritise ball clearing anymore because I do need to speed up a bit. And if one of you could get angry at each other, that would be very nice. So as you can see, that one that's red, they are slowly, they were slowly going towards it. Kamikaze, I'll pick it up. I'll keep it. If I use that, Spacebar item that would blow myself up. So if you actually, I've got um, host head, so that I would get, I'd become a bomb myself, and because of host hat and I'm bomb resistant, I wouldn't actually take damage. So I'd rather keep. It's nice when both of the um, enemies in a room, or if all enemies in a room, have the rotten tomato um, effect on them because it means they'll fight against each other so I don't have to worry about it blue cap definitely taken blue cap is a health up, tears up and shot speed down I actually have something that's gone above the tear cap as well so I'm shooting over 5 tears room or floor. I think I did everything that I wanted to do. I feel like I've been dodging the, some of these tears and things quite lucky. In this fight, I'm sure I should have got hit by some of those. to the dark room which is actually quite nice because when you go for the dark room the negative is a damage up and I am pretty low on damage unfortunately getting money is a bit useless now because I won't get any more shops?
hopefully I'm going the right way because this seems like no okay I was gonna say this seems like a very long way to no nope, I want to keep what I've got thank you very much how much time we're looking uh, I don't have a lot of time so I'm aiming to try and get to the void no not the void the um, the blue womb but I need to get fight mom's how it lives um, within 30 second uh, 30 minutes so I've only got about three minutes left to complete this floor and the next floor so I don't feel very um, likely to be getting that keep this up so I can see boss rooms here okay so I've got a bit more of a chance not like this though I need these to go against each other really could I have a angry tomato effect I'm gonna die because I've been too concentrating on Getting them angry on each other. Well, one of them did at least. Okay, now they're against each other. Unfortunately, that wasn't for a very long time. Sure. Match key, look, look. That's not bad. Unfortunately, I took so much health that there was no way I was going to get the angel room. Curse or lost. Not what I wanted to see. We need only about a minute left. So two soul hearts. Already full health. That was not bad at all. Okay, I'm just gonna start leaving things now. seconds left to try and find the boss room not gonna happen even if I did find the boss room now I wouldn't have enough time to beat the boss because my damage is not great So I guess I'm just aiming to get to the lamb this run, which if I get at least get to the lamb, that's not bad. So you're going to have lost my angel room chance now as well, or devil room chance. I don't need to keep collecting money.
if I don't find the boss room after here, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, it is here. At least I don't have to backtrack and I'm not too lost. Well, what? I didn't know the hands did that. Um, if there's an enemy that's been rotten to my oh, that's pretty cool. Damn it. Point five chance to get um, an angel or devil room. These slow tears are messing me up and some of these. Standing the wrong way. Okay, dark room. Well, shoal first. Oh, this is not a good room. I need you to get up. I'm doomed. I'm so doomed. I kind of need the leech to take out something. Okay. I'm going to have to rely on my leech for a couple of things here. Trouble is. A lot of these enemies are going to be quite strong. This is it. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Leech, please. That's nice. Would have preferred soul hearts. Tears up, that's nice. So I really don't feel too much more confident in how much further I'm going to get here. Unless something starts giving me heart. You're not fun. Give me a soul heart. You didn't give me a soul heart. I'm surrounded by big rooms. I uh, would like to avoid them as much as possible for the time being. Leech. Take as long as it needs to. I'm sorry, but. Yes, fight each other.
Why couldn't you have been a nice devil room? No! That's not what I wanted. Where are you? Lovers, sure. And just like that, back to full health. Oh no. This enemy has way too much health and has way too many moves that are too good. I didn't really want to end up full clearing this wall. Transformation, that's nice. So we have Bookworm Transformation. So we have a chance to shoot two tiers at once. It'd be nice if when the, the these Bomberman enemies were Rotten Tomato, their troll bombs or mega troll bombs would actually attack them instead. Because it looked like they were still targeting me. Sure. Mr. Mega, so my bombs are bigger and do more damage. And I get five bombs for picking it up as well. Okay. Need to fight Saturn. Do you want to not do that move? Okay, those bombs really helped out a lot in that room. She wasn't too bad of a of a Saturn fight. By the way, I know it's Satan, but I'm gonna call him Saturn. So what items we got? None of those look good enough to give up any of my hearts for, so we'll come back. Potentially. Now I'm gonna reroll straight away. Take Ghost Baby, sure. Ghost Baby's familiar that shoots spectral tears, so it can shoot through um, rocks and anything like that. Although, I don't think there'll be too much obstacles on these rooms anyway. Take the lighter instead of petrified poop. The lighter 
has a chance, or I don't know if it's a chance or it's guaranteed that one enemy in a room is going to be have the burn effect. Oh, none of these matters anyway, so I'm going to die. Okay, again. We're avoiding the big room. I hate their jumps. Leech, if you want to take care of some of the little babies. Damn it! Okay. I didn't really have the damage for that at all. Show about the tears, though. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.